So again, this is code and code, and this is introductory lecture for this MySQL course. In this course, as you know, there are so many commands in SQL. Uh, we will be covering specific commands like DQL, that is data query language. So basically, we'll be learning all of the ways and techniques that you, all of the commands that you'll be applying when you retrieve data from a database, okay? So we'll be learning DQL only. Other things I'll be covering in separate courses. This course is only dedicated for DQL, right? So let's see. First of all, very important thing, since we are going to implement, apply, and run all of these query that we'll be learning in this course online. You don't have to install and download anything. Okay, that's a plus point. So we can directly get started and we'll be using different platform to solve problems. We'll be learning certain concepts and we'll be solving problems uh, on uh, online platforms like uh, HackerRank or LeetCode. Okay, so this way you'll be getting uh, prepared for your interviews also. Okay, so let's see what we are going to learn. First of all, we'll be learning how you can select data right from the table using select statement we'll be learning how you can do the, the do this using without condition with condition using limit operator all of these things right then we'll be learning about the function that you'll be applying in uh, which which are very commonly used uh, along with the queries like min max sum and other functions we'll be covering all of them right and it, just remember one thing when we are learning certain concept we'll make sure that we'll solve some problems based on that right so that you're not just gaining theoretical knowledge, but practical knowledge. Okay, and I'll be giving you uh, problem statements or problems, links for a problem that you can solve yourself also as practice, okay? Now, so we'll be learning about uh, string magic, like wildcard characters, like operator, and regular expression. Regular expression, I believe, is very important. This is used in so many places. Like even you can, uh, for example, you can create regular expression in Java itself, right? So we'll be learning regular expression, which is used heavily in string matching, right? So I'll be dedicating at least three or four lectures itself for regular expression. And we, I believe we'll be solving a lot of problems from here uh, based on regular expression and string matching. Then we'll move on to like joins. So see what happens when, uh, there are times when you, you are storing data for a particular user in multiple tables, okay, why? For example, let's take an example of food delivering or online purchasing app, right? So how they store data is that, for example, user data will be stored in user table, then their addresses will be stored in a separate table, their, their credit card, debit card details will be separate, uh, stored in a separate table, right? So you have multiple tables, right? For a particular user, you have its data spread out in multiple tables. What happens, you want to you know, combine data from all of the tables and show it. In that case, you'll be using join. So there are many kinds of joints, left join, right join, inner cross and sort of self join, right? We'll be learning all of these in great details with practice problem, okay? Then we'll be learning about aggregating data. There are times when you need to aggregate the overall data that you are getting using group by and we'll be applying condition using hand, right? And finally, we'll be learning flow control. You can apply an if and if null statement. So we'll be learning about that and also switch statement, right? Or switch cases. And finally, in, in some uh, apart from that, in extra, we'll be learning about the null values. What are those? How uh, you'll be utilizing those in and not in operator between and doing an operator. All of these we are going to cover in this course itself. Again, this course will be practice heavy because the best way to learn is to practice that's how i learn right so we'll be covering concepts then we'll be solving a lot of problems based on right so i'll make sure that at the end of this course you are ready to you know take on any challenge related to data quality language okay so yeah this was it and as always i'm always open to any suggestions that you have or any practice problem that you want to suggest you can suggest in the comment section so yeah this was all for this lecture. Uh, see you again in the next lecture.